And we're going to get to all of that. But first, let's get this shit out of the fucking way. Okay? The Iranian president, Ebrahim Raisi, violated rule number one. Never get in a helicopter. He also violated rule number two. Never get in a helicopter, especially in mountainous terrain when there's a lot of fog. And, and rule number three, never get in a helicopter with more than one head of state. A major violation on all fronts occurred on Iran as uh, the Iranian president and the foreign minister were traveling back from Azerbaijan on a helicopter in the middle of a fucking, uh, in the, in the middle of like the densest fog I've ever seen personally. And they got destroyed. Not a head of state government official. Yeah. Leadership role, whatever, not a head of state, but a government official in a pretty important position of power. The foreign minister is a very important uh, position of power, perhaps even more important than the president is president is a relatively the president would i would say in iran is a relatively symbolic um it's not like he's like i don't think people it's a massive country i don't think people like give a shit one way or the other like there are certainly a lot of people who are celebrating his death because they hate him for understandable reasons it'd be like if erdogan died you know what i mean and there are people who are mourning him but not that many overall but he is largely in, uh, inconsequential Foreign minister, on the other hand, is a much more consequential position, much more important position. And the fact that he died alongside the Iranian president is crazy to me. How the fuck were they on the same goddamn helicopter? I will never understand that. What are they doing over there in Iran? They are going bananas mode. No one gives a damn here, really, to the Persian duck. Yeah, I mean, I don't think like, I don't think I would not say that he is a uh, particularly popular individual considering the mass protests that occur in Iran uh, with regular frequency and also the unimaginable cruelty that is dished out towards said protesters in Iran, uh, which the president was like a beacon of. Uh, they, they see him as like the guy who's responsible for all of this, even though, you know, everything is the Ayatollah, obviously. Come on, let's be real. But like, you know, he, as far as the domestic affairs goes, uh, he is not exactly super popular. Yeah, there was a... Very small turnout where he won 70% of the vote or something, which is pretty funny. Uh, it's a, Iranian elections. Come on now. Let's be for fucking real. Um, not a good guy. Yeah. He also signed up on thousands of revolutionary protests. There was in prison for ages. Not a good guy. Even though they do always give him cool ass fucking nicknames. Like they call Bashar al-Assad the lion, right? Uh, and they call him the butcher of Tehran. And it's like, stop doing that. Okay. Just fucking stop. To me, it's like this dude, like this dude, if he doesn't have the fucking, if this dude doesn't have the bona fides, like, why are you giving him a sick ass name, dude? Like they need to stop doing that. They need to stop giving motherfuckers like from software boss names, like, Oh, dude, that's the butcher of Tehran. I'm going to be like, okay, that goes kind of hard. Assad means lion in Arabic, like literally. I mean, that's why they, that, I, I, that makes sense. That's why he's the lion of Syria. You can't be, you can't be doing this. That's all I'm saying. I think we need to. We need to give him like lame ass names. You know what I mean? If we, if you want to like position yourself as a guy, here's a, here's a foreign policy tip. Okay. Here is a, yeah. The gay koala of Tehran would be way more like it would neutralize him immediately. If you talked about his fucking, like, I don't know, his, his clerical skills being mid, then it's like, it's over. You did it. Ain't nobody is calling Ted Cruz the butcher of Texas, okay? You want to know why? Because he's fucking Ted Cruz. He sucks. Ain't nobody's going around being like Marco Rubio. They call him sweaty, dude. They call him wet. 
That's what Trump called him. I think about that. Yeah, give him like a way lamer name. And all of a sudden, the dynamic changes dramatically. This guy is like relatively inconsequential in the grand scheme of things in Iranian politics overall. And even then, when I hear like butcher of Tehran, I'm like, shit, dude. The fuck? The fuck did he do? Like, give him something shitty. With breaking news from Iran, where state media says that President Raisi and the Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdullahian died when their helicopter crashed on Sunday. The wreckage has been located and there are... It's not that cool of a nickname for Raisi, though. His name was Ibrahim. They called him Ebi, short for Ibrahim, the butcher. Ebi the butcher. No survivors among those who were on board. The search took place in a mountainous area in northwestern Iran near Tabriz. Mr. Raisi was returning from a visit to Azerbaijan, where he'd been discussing cooperation over dams and water supplies. The helicopter had been one of three flying together. This is it taking off to return to Iran. The other two reached their destination safely, but the alarm was raised on Sunday when Iran's interior minister said the president's aircraft had experienced a hard... Like, Vlad the Impaler goes hard, okay? My epigenetic memories kick in. The moment that someone says, oh, I'm Vlad the Impaler, I'm like, oh, fuck. Okay? Goes hard. Goes hard. Not, it did a lot of fucking crazy stuff. Okay? I mean, he literally impaled people. Okay? He made a forest of impaled people. That, I mean, that's crazy. That's crazy. You are giving people props for no reason. Make fun of this guy. Uh, you know, name him something weak. Like, I don't know, like, uh, like alliteration is cool. I can't think of anything like with R, Raisi. I don't know. <laughs> the poopy pants. <laughs> Landing and communication had been lost. Several countries offered to help in the search, which was hampered by bad weather, as you can see from these pictures issued by the Azerbaijan Red Crescent Society. Overnight, Turkey launched a drone to search for the missing helicopter. This map tracks its progress. You can oh, see dude, where this is pretty funny. They, they did the most Turkish thing of all time. They found, they found news, uh, you know, spoiler alert, the Turkish uh, Bayraktar drones, I think, found the helicopter fairly quickly. And then, <laughs> and then they went and did a crescent and star on its flight path to be like, you know, to, to give a shout out, it's so, oh, it's a Kinja drone, not a, not a Bayraktar, sorry. Concentrated its search. In the early hours of the morning, Turkey said it had identified a source of heat, which it suspected to be the wreckage of a helicopter carrying Iran's President Raisi. It said it had shared the coordinates with the Iranian teams. Then these pictures emerged a short while ago. These are pictures taken by a drone of the crash scene. You can just see on the laptop screen the wreckage of the helicopter. Well, That's why it was pretty crazy when people were like, oh, uh, you think he's alive? It's like, dude, have you seen a helicopter crash? <laughs> like, no, man. That's not how this goes, okay? Like, especially a fucking... If a helicopter's crashing, good luck. Okay, good luck. At that point, it's just, it's over. It's so fucking Jover. It's so goddamn Jover. Like, I, what is it called? They have the auto rotate or whatever. Like, obviously, you can land it, but if it crashes, it's different. You're cooked. And I don't know, I don't know how you can auto rotate in the midst of like dense fog, right? Uh, in, in a forest on the mountainside, like good luck. But yeah, here's what they did. Here's what the Turkish drones did. İran'da aramalara katılan Akıncı İHA Van Gölü üzerinde ay yıldız çizdi. How is there fog in the middle of the summer? What do you think, bro? They are in the mountains. There's fog every morning in Los Angeles in the middle of summer. Why is this genuinely a point of contention? 
Do you guys think, just come out and say it. Do you think like there's a Jewish uh, weather control uh, gun? Is that what you think is going on? Do you think Jews control the fog? Is that what it is? Like, what the fuck are we doing? What, what are we doing here? Like, it, it genuinely doesn't make sense to me at all. <laughs> yeah, Jewish fog machines caused the crash, dude. That's what happened. Anyway, let's continue. With me now is Parham Gabadi from BBC Persian. Hi, Parham. Good to see you. And this accident, this crash happened uh, last night in Iran. And since then, there was speculation about whether or not there would be any survivors and confirmation in the last couple of hours that the president and foreign minister have been killed. What are the authorities in Iran saying? So the authorities announced that they found, as you said, uh, they first found the wreckage and they immediately said that there is no sign of life around this wreckage. And they said that they've got only less than two kilometers to reach this uh, helicopter. And they're, they were going to make it there within a few hours. But the efforts to find this helicopter took uh, all the night. As you said, it was hampered by the bad weather. First, it was foggy. That is believed to be the reason for the crash. And then it turned into rainy weather. And over the night, the temperature fell and it started snowing. But Iranian Red Crescent was not able to alone to, to, to find the president. So they asked help from the... Blame the weather. Guys, it's a helicopter. Like, it's a helicopter flying through tricky terrain in incredibly dense fog. It literally does actually make sense. Okay? Like, there is... Guys, this has happened to a very prominent figure by the name of Kobe Bryant. So it's not like... It's not that strange of an occurrence. Okay? Like, you should know. It was very heavily publicized at the time. It already... It has happened before. Nobody's saying Jewish space lasers, but fog in the middle of the summer is sus. No, it's not. You're fucking stupid. I can't believe you're not joking. And I can't believe you're saying this seriously. What are you saying? No, it's not. It's not weird to have fog in the middle of summer, bro. What the fuck are you talking about? I just told you literally this morning there was fog in Los Angeles. Oh my God. And we're not even in like mountainous climate. They're up in the fucking mountains, bro. It was snowing too. In the middle of snow in the middle of summer? What's that? What? Like, depending on how fucking high you go. People, people that live in, like, Arkansas forget that, uh, you know, people live in other places around the planet where, like, weather conditions are very different. Certain YouTube debate bros are... Filling their timelines with shut up conspiracy theories, shaking my head. Wait, what do you mean? What? Who? Who is like saying that this is legitimately like a conspiracy, a plot, or something? Like, here's the thing. Okay, it does actually. The timing of it is suspicious. So I understand why people immediately were like, "Wait a minute, this is a little weird," right? It is a little, it is a little, uh, odd. Uh, it is strange timing in the midst of like this powder keg. Okay. And I understand like your immediate reaction without knowing all the details. If you didn't know anything about what was going on, it makes sense. I've seen several streams talking about assassination. Huh? Wait, really? Kuwaiti chatter here. Everyone is convinced it's a Zionist hit beyond a doubt with zero proof law. What? It's not a civilian helicopter. They could see this was Israel. My Marine vet told me that there is no chance the fog got to the pilot. Okay, guys, I can't tell if you guys are joking or not or if you're being serious, okay? 
I can't. You need to remember that you have American chatters who didn't receive a good education. I'm going to be fully educated teacher in a month, so I will start working on some lessons plans to fix them. Bro, my Marine vet. Like, what do you mean, dude? Did he also tell you what, <laughs> what his favorite tasting crayon was? Like, <laughs> what? Okay. It's because thanks to a combination of TikTok brain and jokes being taken too far, so many leftists are like one bad day from being straight up QAnon. Like, guys. Um, yeah, Ugopnik had the correct take. The worst thing about helicopters is that they fall out of the sky so often you can't even spin a decent conspiracy, even when they even when foul play is likely. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. It's just a thing helicopters do. Hello, helicopter expert here. Okay. Hello, helicopter expert here. That's a thing helicopters do. Okay. They do it. And they do it because of their clientele that normally takes helicopters. They do it all the time. They do it to the Delta Force. They do it to, uh, you know, rich people. And they do it to heads of state and presidents and shit like that. Because those are the people that take the fucking helicopters. That's just what it is. It's an insane, it's an insane method of transportation. Okay. An insane one. And don't even get me started on Ospreys. Okay. Remember people tried to do this with the Ospreys in the Mediterranean. There was an Osprey that fell in the Mediterranean and a week later, another one in fucking Japan. That is just what Ospreys do. If you don't know anything about Ospreys, that's how they, that's how they operate. They, they are, they are murkers of Whoever the fuck they're traveling, whoever the fuck they're carrying, they will kill them. Okay. Blackhawks as well. But Ospreys, especially. NATO helicopters literally crash and kill soldiers every couple of years. Yes. Helicopters fucking fall all the time. It is like, think about it this way. I have been <laughs> covering this shit pretty reasonably for the past eight months, okay? And before that, for the past 10 years. The timing of this death is definitely suspicious. But once you look into the situation at hand and you realize there is a helicopter involved, all of a sudden, it is not so suspicious. Okay? That's it. It is the most, like, it is the most consistent thing the helicopters do. You are talking about a massive country that is, like, retrofitting helicopters from the fucking 60s to this goddamn day due to an unimaginable amount of fucking sanctions you are talking about you are talking about a helicopter ride taking place in a mountainous region with an insane amount of fog okay that's it there's literally proof that the heli was shot down. No, there isn't. And you're just trying to fucking give me proof that there's a three minute outbreak at the top of the hour.